Just imagine you're sitting in class or work, dreaming of being home and making beats. And then after a very long day, you finally get home and open up FL. You choose a VST and then nothing absolutely nothing. The piano roll stays empty and you can't come up with a single melody. You feel absolutely wordless. But don't worry, let me help you. I'm gonna show you how to make a melody from start to finish. First, I'm gonna show you a trick to create melodies without knowing music theory. And that is by using scale helpers, but not in the way you think. Here I have FL keys loaded up. Now in the piano roll, go to the menu on top and choose view. Then head over to scale highlighting and choose one to your liking. For example, C sharp. Then this part is where we're gonna change things up. A lot of us use the major and minor key all the time, but sometimes forget that we have a lot of other options, such as the minor harmonic scale. So to start and build a fire melody, we're gonna start with the root notes of the chords. Use the highlighted notes to stay inside the scale we selected earlier. Lay down a simple melody like this. Now to build a chord, skip one highlighted note and lay down another one. Do it again and this is called a triad. Do this for all the notes of your melody and this is how it sounds like. The next trick is gonna change your beats forever. As you can see, we created two chords that are exactly the same and it sounds all right. But if you take the second note of the chord and put it a half step down, the melody sounds 10 times better instantly. This is actually called a C-sharp suspended two chord. Now, if you want your melody to have some power and strength, then press Ctrl plus Shift on your keyboard and select the root notes of the chords. Then hold Shift and duplicate them one octave lower. And that's it. But we're missing one huge thing and that is character. Luckily you can give it some by selecting the middle note of the chords or the third and then copying them one octave up. That will create a descending sound which can sound very dark. Now if you want people to really love your melodies we need to put some emotion in it. And we're doing that by creating a simple melody on top like this. This is what I created. Okay, we just created an entire melody with FL keys, but why on earth would we do that? First of all, FL keys is fire, you can do a lot with it. But that is not the reason why I used it. We created a chord progression, a melody, bass notes, all in one layer. Now it's time to open up other instruments and split the entire melody between the other sounds. And that way the melody will sound a lot better. First, disable FL keys in the channel rack, then open up a VST to your liking. For example, Symphony Orchestra, which is free by the way. I want the chord progression to be powerful and snappy, so I'm gonna use the violins for that. Set it to pizzicato, that way it sounds short. Next, you wanna paste the chords we created into the piano roll and now it sounds like this. You're doing great, now let's move on to the top melody. For that I want to use a subtle dark bell like this. As you can hear the pitch of the top melody is a little bit too high. Just make sure everything is selected and press Ctrl plus arrow down. That way you transpose it one octave down. And you can do this for every melody by the way. And that already sounds amazing, but we still need to find a spot for the descending melody and the bass notes. I think I'm gonna use FL keys for that. So just enable it again and open up the pattern. Then remove all the chords and of course the top melody, so that only the descending melody remains. Just for the sake of this video I slapped some fire simple drum... Dr dr Next we're gonna take our melodies and turn it into a professional sounding mix, so if you wanna learn how to do that, click that video right there. Gotta go now. Ah, goodbye. <laughs> 